What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Shohei Kimura's team that he actually used to win the Pokemon World Championship. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before I actually get started here with today's team preview and going over these Pokemon, I got to give a huge shout out, obviously, first and foremost, to Shohei Kimura for actually winning the championship and using this team. Absolutely amazing to watch. Watched a couple of his battles and he just played insane. Really, really smart guy killing it on the world championship ladder and another shout out i want to give to is talon vgc i'm not too sure if he recreated the pokey pace we're not pokey pace the uh, rental team and gave it a rental code out to us or just made a video on the team but huge shout out to him gave me the idea of making a video on this team so link to both of their channels will be down in the description below but first Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane is chilling over here in the top left hand corner and obviously regulation d world championship team is going to have a bunch of meta pokemon on it Fluttermane's got the choice specs with Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Energy Ball. We got Iron Hands in our second slot with Quick Drive and the Assault Vest. It has Fake Out, Wild Charge, Drain Punch, and it also has Volt Switch to pivot out and get more Fake Outs in. In our third slot, we are rocking out with one of the best support Pokemon in the game. That is going to be Amoongus with Regenerator and the Citrus Berry. Obviously, Moveset is going to be pretty standard with Rage Powder, Spore, Palm Pump, and Protect. Can't have a World Championship Regulation D team without Water Urge through. This Pokemon has just took over the meta ever since it's been released into competitive play. And it's Unseen Fist with the Mystic Water as its item, Rock and Surgeon Strikes, Aqua Jet, Taunt, and Protect. In our fifth slot, we got Landorus, and Landorus is just top tier, especially with its Intimidate ability. It's got Safety Goggles as its item, Rock and Stop and Catch em, Protect, U Turn, and Terra Blast. In our final slot, we got Shen Pao. Once you have Urge through, you gotta bring Shen Pao with. Shen Pao just makes Urshfu 10 times better and it is top tier on its own. It's got Swords Ruin with the Focus Sash as item, Rock and Ice Circle Crash, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Guys, you want to write the team for yourself? Not the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on at rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this world champion team. We're loading into match number one, and I guess the word is getting over. The world championship team is here we're going up against the exact same team here they got every single pokemon that we have so i guess the rental code is starting to go around so we're gonna play up against it we're gonna look for a win here in match number one who should we lead and how should we play it i could honestly go shen pao urshfu that is going to be a pretty strong lead i could also go amoongus as a lead because amoongus should be water tower right yeah, Water Tower is just really, really strong. And so I might even go Amoongus as a lead. But I feel as they're going to bring Urshfu and Chen Pao, I definitely want to bring mine. But I don't know if I want to lead them. Because if I lead them, then chances are they might just terrestrialize Amoongus if they do lead Amoongus. Because I think they're going to lead Amoongus. But I have Taunt on this thing, which is absolutely amazing. But they already know what I have. They know exactly what I have. But I'm going to go Fluttermane from here. I'm also going to go Iron Hands. I'm going to go Fluttermane and Iron Hands here. That's the lead for us. And then in the back end, we're going Shen Pao and Urshfu, which I really, really like. So I'm going to lead that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one up against the exact same team. I'm really curious to see who they're going to go into. They're definitely thinking about it a lot, just like we were. I feel like when you're going up against mirror matchups, you just don't really know how to play up against it. It's really weird to go up against a mirror matchup. Every now and then you'll do that, but I think for a little bit, a lot of people are going to be rocking out with this team. Let's see who they lead. I think Amoongus is going to come out for them. I really do. I think Amoongus is going to come out with uh, maybe like Fluttermane or something like that. Or maybe just Urshifu and Chen Pao. It's just too strong not to use, right? I was going to lead it myself, but I just sided on this combo instead. So let's see. They could go Lando thinking we're going with physical attackers. And it is going to be, yep, Amoongus. I, see, I thought it was going to be Amoongus too. I really did think it was going to be Amoongus. But I was going to lead Shen Pao and uh, Urshifu, and if I would have done that, Moongus would thrash slash straight in the water, and we would have a little bit of a problem, but from here, I could just straight Moonblast, but do I want to do that? I do have Terra Grass, which is pretty good. And I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to Terra Grass, just to dodge Rage Powders, just to dodge some Spores here. I think it's going to be pretty good for us. I'm going to Terrastalize my Fluttermane. We're going to go into that grass typing, which is actually a really good typing in regulation game. A lot of Pokemon are just not hitting too hard up against the grass type. So grass is a really good tower in regulation day. Now I'm going to Terrasalize here. He's also going to Terrasalize. 
I wonder if that is still what's called. The Iron Ants. It is. Tough news from us. Real tough news from us. In the water. So doubling down in the water types. I wish I choiced an energy ball. I might swap out now. I might just swap out now. But Fake Out's gonna come out here. We're gonna do a little clap skis onto the Amoongus. And Moonblast is going to fly here. Doing a decent amount of damage over on the Iron Hands. Heavy Slam is gonna come out here, which still does a massive amount of damage onto us. A bit too much. A bit too much damage. Come here, do I hard swap? Hmm, probably not. I think we just Moonblast and we go into a... A Wild Charge? A good Wild Charge, or I can Drain Punch. I'm thinking of just Volt Switching. I'll try to pull off a Volt Switch. I'll try to get a little Volt Switchy on this. So Moonblast is going to fly here. We're going to Volt Switch out of here. And this should KO you, right? It does not. It does not KO you. Volt Switch always hitting light. Hitting real light. And now I'm scared because whoever I bring in is going to go to sleep. At this point, who would I rather have to sleep? Probably Urshfu, right? I guess we'll go Urshfu. So, they're going to put Urshfu to sleep. I understand. And they're going to KO my, uh... And they're going to Drain Punch that. Are you Palm Puffin? What are you doing here, Amoongus? You're scaring me a little bit. Amoongus is scaring me. He's Palm Puffin. He's healing. Oh, no. He's KOing. KO my Flutterman. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go in the Shen Pao. Shen Pao is definitely the play. And I'm hoping a Surgeon Strikes can KO the Iron Hands. Because I want an Ice Spinner into a Moongus, right? We know it can't Rasslize. We can just try to KO it. And I think Surgeon Strikes should be able to actually KO that Iron Hands. So from here, actually, we don't have Ice Spinner. We have Icicle Crash. That's fine. I have a lot of faith in my Pokemon to actually land those shots. So I'm going to go into the not very effective Surgeon Strikes into the Iron Hands. The good thing they did waste terror, because when Amoongus um, terrestrializes, it gets off a lot of value, so it'd be big for us just to pick up a nice big double KO here. So we'll see what they want to do. I can definitely see a swap potentially coming out from Amoongus. Get back to full HP with Regenerator. Kind of go from there. Definitely a possibility. Definitely a possibility. They got rid of my Fluttermane. My Fluttermane did a little bit of work. I wish I still had it, but... It made a great play to rasslize and kind of just get in for me that way. The so Isle Crash is going to land. That should KO Amoongus all day, right? Night, night. Cool. Get it on out of here. And then Surgeon Strikes. I know it's not very effective. Should be able to finish off the Siren Hands. That correct statement, Jeans? I think it does. I think it does. Cut it close here. Oh, yeah, it is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're able to finish off both of the Pokemon. But in the back end, I think they have exactly what we have. I think they have Shen Pao and Urshifu. So, could see a little bit of a mirror matchup. We do have an extra Pokemon, but I think it might just come down to speed ties at this point, right? We'll see. We'll see. We do have Aqua Jet for first turn priority, which I might want to send. I might want to double down to Shen Pao if they do bring both of them. It's a high likelihood they're bringing both of them. And no Fluttermane's going to come out here. A little bit of Fluttermane action alongside with, is that Urshifu? It is, so no Shen Pao coming out from him. No Shen Pao. Let me actually see speeds, because my Flutter Main's the same speed. They're both choice specs. 195. Oh, you're not maxed out on speed. You're not nature divested in his speed. That kind of hurts. I do have Focus Ash, which is awesome. Um, and if you're choice, I'm just going to double down into that thing, right? I think I'm just Aqua Jet and, and Sucker Punch if you're choice. Yep, and they protect Urshifu too, which is such a big turn for us. That's so big for us. That's very big. So Sucker Punch is going to fly here. It's going to just KO. It's just going to straight up KO. And Aqua Jet's going to hit through Protect and take off Focus Ash. I mean, they don't have Focus Ash. It would be on their Shen Pao. But still, great little matchup for us. Match number one going to your boy. We absolutely love it. We absolutely love it. They're probably going to cancel it, but a mirror matchup with the World Championship team. Gotta love getting a win on that one. Sacred Sword's gonna fly here, do about half damage, Close Comet's gonna come out here, and that's not the same Urshfu I have. This team's slightly different. Their team's slightly different. Not the same Urshfu I have. Not the same Urshfu. But I'm gonna sash up here, that's slowly fine, Surgeon Strikes is gonna fly, and it's going to finish off this match. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, 1-0, hot start for us. Let's hop into our second match, let's go back to back. Second match is on its way, and is every did, did everybody decide to use this team today? 
have both opponents so far. Another mirror matchup coming at you guys. I'm down for it. I'm all about it. I would hope all three battles would be mirror matchups. That would be absolutely hilarious. But everybody is running this team. And it is hilarious. It is hilarious. So we're going up against same team. Pretty cool. The other uh, person's team that we versed in the last battle was slightly different. I can tell by the close combat because my Urshfu does not have close combat. But how should I, should I lead? How should I go into it? I think Fluttermane Iron Hands works well here again. I like it a lot. So I am going to end up leading both of them. And we're going to be bringing in Urshifu and Shen Pao. Right? It makes sense. It definitely makes sense. So different opponent, same team we're versing. I'm having a blast today. I'm having a blast. So either way... The world championship team is going to win for you guys. That is hilarious. That is so funny. The first match, it was just like, okay, kind of cool. It was just like, oh, cool. We got a mirror matchup. The second match is like, wait a minute. Everyone decided to use this team today. That's so funny. That is so funny. They're going to end up leading nice, lovely Lando and Fluttermane. So both Fluttermanes are coming out here. It's going to intimidate me. Uh, I'm going to fake out the Lando. I wish I had Heavy Slam. I do wish I had Heavy Slam. And this Flutter Mane's a bit different. It's Protosynthesis Boost, not Choice like mine. Speed is heightened. The speed gets the boost. Um, I'm going to Thrasslash and Shadow Ball. Do I fake out or do I just Volt Switch? It could be a Choice. It could be a Choice Land. I'm going to fake it out. I'm gonna fake out. The reason I'm terrestrializing is because I do not want to die to a Shadow Ball. Their Flutter Mane obviously outspeeds me with the booster energy, so I'm hoping they're not terrestrializing and I can just rip into them, right? That, that's my plan. That's my plan. Just to get rid of the Flutter Mane. Because if I can go Flutter Mane for Flutter Mane, that's a big, that's a, that's a big victory for me. I'm gonna terrestrialize here just so I don't die out to whatever it has to offer. And obviously, it's not terrestrializing because it's Terra type, but it came out before mine. And. Is that Lando? That's gotta be Lando, right? There's no way it's Flutter Mane. It's Lando. Okay, that makes sense. So Lando's gonna try to slice in a straight flying. He's ready to do some big boy damage. He's not playing around. I was gonna say, if that's Flutter Mane, this, this game's messed up. But it's not. So Fake Out comes out here. A little bit of flinch action. Turn one. Icy Wind comes out here. You're outspeeding. Oh, yeah, no, you were outspeeding me regardless. We knew that. We knew that. We knew that. So, Lando's gonna flinch here, Shadow Ball's gonna come in hot here. And we're gonna KO, right? Yeah. See you later. So you pick up a big time KO. Um That might be a time to hard swap. Or do we think he might be going for a ground move? There's a possibility he goes for a ground move. So out comes our next Pokemon, and this is going to be Amoongus, which we we do not like. We do not like Amoongus. I'm gonna say choice to the Shadow Ball and do I try to go for the Volt Switch? Yeah, I'm cool with the Volt Switch, even though you might just EQ me. Stomping can from one or the other. Let's see. Terra Blast here coming in. So he's going to Terra Blast me. And he's going to put my other Pokemon to sleep. So he's just going to dump on my Fluttermane. He's lucky, Icy Wind. That Fluttermane did not expect that Icy Wind. So we're just going up against similar... Well, same team, just slightly different builds. You're out speeding. Oh, wow, you're out speeding my Iron Hands. That hurts. That hurts right there. Amoongus outspeed my Iron Hands. In, not in a trick room. That's tough news right there. That's tough news. So, obviously, Shen Pao is going to be the best call to bring out here. So, I'm going to bring him out. Shen Pao is going to come out here and. Um. Who do I go after? Gotta go after it. I just got to ISO crash this thing, right? And an ISO crash. Keep trying to Volt Switch. I want to swap this thing out just so I fake out later in the game. So I saw Crash going to be our best friend. He could protect Lando and then put me to sleep again, which would be super painful. Maybe I should just land for Moongus, but I really just want to, uh, I really just want to take out this Lando here. So maybe I'll go for Rage Powder. You never know. Just thinking. There's the Rage Powder. So Rage Powder is going to come out here. That's fine. We are sashed up, which is good. And we're hoping my boy can maybe have a one time sleep. I still crash gonna fly here. Should KO Amoongus. It does not. God dang it. And of course, this thing's buried too. Come on, Shen Pao. You gotta pick up the KO. But again, these Amoonguses are made to uh, outlive a shot like that. Sonic with Cancer. I'm gonna fly here. And we survive. Can you wake up? Quick naps? No quick naps for you. Really hurts the soul. So from here, 
I said Crash can come out here again. We're gonna aim it that way, and I might just hard swap you, or I might just let you die out. I kind of feel as I should let you die out. I'll go for a wild charge if anything, just try to pick up some damage. So we'll see what they want to do here. I think another Rage Powder should come out here, but I have a feeling we're gonna miss an Iso Crash. I have a feeling. I love Iso Crash because the damage output is insane, but Ice Spinner's accuracy is just so much more reliable. But a lot of people have been running Iso Crash just for the bigger damage output and the flinch chance as well. So you get a little bit of double action. So Rage Powder comes out here. Come on, land this, land this Iso Crash. Love it. It's big time Iso Crash. We need that one. So we KO Amoongus. Such a pain in the neck. Wish we would have got that crit turn one. That could have been big for us. And we'll see who Lando's going to go after. You rock an EQ? He's going to go for a rock slide. Who's dodged that? Chen Pao dodged that. And Iron Hands eats. Can you wake up? Iron Hands. What? Like, dude, now's not the time to nap. We're in a battle. We are battling right now. Now is not the time. It is not the time. So they go into their final Pokemon. And from here, I just think I had the Iso Crash, right? Yeah, Iso Crash. I think that thing's not choice, but it doesn't have protect. I don't think it has protect. It would have protected by now, right? It definitely would have protected by now. So I'm going to go Iso Crash into the Lando slot. And now it protects. Come on with that. And who are you going after? Are you taking out my Iron Hands here? Let's see. Or are you going after my Shen Pao? Because Iron Hands is waking up. He's doing some big time damage. He's not playing around. You're going to go after my Shen Pao. And I don't think you can eat that up. I think you're dead, boy. I think you're dead. And this is going to come close. Because Iron Hands should wake up here. And as long as this Urshu is not Sash, which I don't believe it is, we should KO with Wild Charge. We should be able to KO with Wild Charge. We don't. Not even close. That's ugly. That is ugly. That is real ugly. Hold up. Let me see your stats real quick. You're not KOing? You're not fully invested into attack. Makes sense. Makes sense. But it kind of hurts, right? I'm so used to Iron Hands being able to KO. And that would have been a big time KO. But a good protect from Lando. I'm surprised it, it like took that long to finally protect. That's why I attacked it. But from here... Huh. I'm definitely just going to go Surgeon Strikes into the slot. See if we can pick up a KO on the U. We'll play this one out. He ends up Aqua Jet. Can we go first? We do not. I was hoping we could go first and just pick up KO and then potentially win this match. But he's going to end up KO me with that. And that is going to be game, set, match. So match number two goes to our opponent. At least our team still pretty much won. Third and final match coming at you guys. And finally, we are not versing the exact same team. We won our first match. We lost our second match. Thought I was going to win it because I really did think Iron Hands Wild Charge was going to KO Urshu like it normally does. But this Iron Hands is not fully boosted on attack. But it's all good. Now we know. We didn't really study the team stats. I kind of just hopped in this team, rented it, and got after it with recording today. But uh, we're going up against a Fluttermane and Chiyu team in match number three. Alongside with two Trick Room Pokemon, Ursa Luna and Cresselia. And then they got Iron Hands and Shen Pao. We definitely want to bring in Amoongus here. Amoongus is going to be good even in Trick Room. If they want to pop Trick Room, it's going to be amazing. But even outside Trick Room, I still really like Amoongus. And then on top of that, Shen Pao Urshfu. Absolute must. Always so good. I could actually go into Lando here. Lando with the safety goggles is going to be solid. Lando with the goggles. Hmm. Is that what I want? Is that what I want to do? Maybe. Maybe. I just feel like it's super effective onto a good bit. Um, we could go Shen Pao. It was Rock and Sucker Punch. I kind of wish it, this one had Crunch for Cresselia's. Um, but, you know, Fluttermane's going to be a great lead. I'm going to go Fluttermane. I'm also going to go Amoongus. Fluttermane, Amoongus for lead. Urshfu, Shen Pao in the back end. I like Urshfu, Shen Pao in the back end. It's just like a staple. It's just like, dude, bring him in there. Because half the time, actually more like 80% of the time in Regulation D, Urshfu and Shen Pao can clean up anything. It can come back sweep, it can finish off two last Pokemon, it can finish off three Pokemon and one Pokemon left. It's just such a good back end combo. Which is always so good. But they're gonna end up leading Chiyu alongside with Fluttermane. So Chiyu, Fluttermane come out here. Um, probably gonna just terrestrialize my Amoongus here and get cooking. 
because I think Fluttermate is maxed out on speed, right? You're not fully maxed out on speed. See, this is what's crazy. This is what's crazy. Like, looking at these stats for, like, world champion teams, they are so, like, to the, to the, like, the littlest details, so precise on the EVs. It is wild. Like, looking at these, it just, just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. Like, why not max that speed stat? It's crazy. It is crazy how good these players are. But from here, I am just going to go into, I think, just a Moonblast. I think I'm just going to go into Moonblast and I'm just going to Thrash Slice and Spore Flutter me. That's going to be my play. That is the play. But it's just crazy how tactical these world champion teams are. It's insane. It's crazy how they, they even think like that. Like the damage calculations are precisely put in the in the place for certain Pokemon to eat up certain shots up against certain Pokemon. It's just it's wild. It is wild. So he ends up protecting Fluttermane. And Moonblast is going to fly into Chiyu and do a big chunk of damage, which we love. Heat Wave's also gonna come out here and a Pokemon soak up. The spore gets blocked, we don't mind that. And the real question is, can we outspeed the Fluttermane? might not be able to but I'm still gonna try to put to sleep we're still going after that but he ends up withdrawing his flutter main and he's gonna go into here because you don't have any grass that crest is gonna come out here so I'm gonna put crest to sleep which is big time night night crest and moonblast gonna take care of the chi but I like that I like that a lot I like that a lot the night night to you. And now I might swap my moves, go back to full HP. Could be my play. Could definitely be my play. But we'll see who they want to go into. Because we know they have Fluttermane in the back end. Crest is going to be a slight issue. But I'd rather uh, start taking out this right side and going. They end up going back into Fluttermane, which is a little weird. The back into Fluttermane play is here. Um, we'll stay with Moonblast. And I think I'll just... Um, I might, I might spore here because I really don't want to swap. I might, I might be that person. I might be that person to spore. I'm double sporing. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said on the channel, I do it every here and there. But I try not to do it. But right now, I have to do it. It's just the play. Because Dazzling Wing comes out here, the swap is just, it's just not the play. But Moonblast is going to fly here. It's going to half HP. And there's Dazzling Wing. That's exactly why I didn't end up swapping. I apologize for the double spore, but it was just the most, it was, it was my best play here. I wanted to swap Amoongus, but if I swap, I knew Daz and Gleam was coming in here. Both my Pokemon are weak to that. Would have been a problem. It's just real up. It's just real up. Now we got some Pokemon to sleep. Um, now it's going to be the time to bring out Urshifu. And hard swap Amoongus for Regenerator and then go into Shin Pao. Because I know Fluttermane's going to be asleep next turn. So at this point, I just want to do a bunch of damage onto Cress. So Certain Strike's going to come out here. And we're just going to hard swap Amoongus. Go Regenerator. Get a bunch of HP back. Get a bunch of HP. So the double spore was to play. I'm done apologize about it. I'm a man. I own up to things. And I did what I did, alright? I did what I did. I got my reasonings. It's all right. So we hard swap into Shen Pao. Crest is still going to be asleep. Or no, that's Fluttermane. We knew Fluttermane was going to be asleep. We're hoping Crest is still asleep. And certain strikes should chunk up some nice damage. Should do about half. Which would be lovely if it does half. It is going to do half. That's awesome. So if Crest is asleep this turn, that's big, big. And it's going to wake up. I already know it's going to wake up. See, I told you. They get like one turn sleeps. And mine are just awful. So he ends up Lunar Blessing. Lunar Blessing comes out here and that brings him up to enough HP to survive another surge of strikes but Fluttermane is not surviving uh what's it called is not surviving so much so from here certain strikes gonna be my play and I'm just gonna suck a punch down the, the Fluttermane slot god dang it that was perfect wake up for the crest and a lunar blessing to wake up the Fluttermane so good so Helping Hand comes out here, and I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to tell you. You're attacking, but you're dead. You're a goner. You're a goner. Good old Sucker Punch coming in hot there. The Sucker Punch picks up the KO. Urge Food just going to drop some mean certain strikes. Wabam. And almost KO this thing. It's going to bring it close. 
Actually, might KO. That might KO the crest. So close. Living on two and a half. Living on two and a half. But like I said, Urshifu and Shen Pao in the back end are just... Oh my god. They're just godly. They're godly in the back end. So strong. So they get some leftovers HP. Ursaloons can come out here. And from here, it's pretty simple. It is a pretty simple move here. Ursaloon might protect, so I'm going to Surge and Strikes in that one. And then from here, we will just go into Sacred Sword. Will Sacred Sword KO? It should. It should. And the reason I'm going into Sacred Sword is for two reasons. One, Icicle Crash might miss. And two, if Cresselia is going for Trick Room, then Sucker Punch will not really do anything. So I'd rather just Sacred Sword and say that it's going to KO. But he ends up Terrasalizing the Ursula. I'm going to play here. Sacred Sword's going to fly here, and it does KO. So good call on my end. Good call on my end. I was not risking losing this match. So certain Strikes can come out here, do about 5 damage. Um, It's not Guts yet, so it's not going to do crazy damage to me. And it has such a good typing. And I still have a Moongus in the back end, which is awesome. A little bit of Moongi action. So he's going to go for the EQ. Um, with my Pokemon Eat. And now we just gotta do some damage on this thing. So honestly, smart play here would just be protect both my Pokemon. And let the burns chip up a little bit. And then attack next turn. Because chances are, just a Moogus in the back end, if we do not KO, could just protect and be fine. And have the burn KO. But I'm looking to do as much damage because I need to go Secret Sword. Actually, I'll go Sucker Punch. I'll go Sucker Punch into Surgeon Strikes, and that should be enough HP to KO this thing, right? So I'll go Surgeon Strikes, I'll go Sucker Punch, and yeah, that should be game, right? Correct statement by Jeans? Sucker Punch flying? Yeah, and Surgeon Strikes can easily do that much. Easily! GG's to our opponent. 2-1 and one for today's video. Had an awesome set of matches. We only lost one match, and we kind of won it because our team won it because our opponent was using our team, but it's all good. We go two and one, we get two wins, one loss. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I got you guys. I want to at least grab you guys a winning record, and that's exactly what we did. Two and one, wish we would've went three and oh, but hey, still got to use this team to its fullest potential and showcase it for you guys. If you guys wanna rent this team, I already said it, rental code is at top right hand corner, but fair warning, a lot of people are using this team on the rank ladder. Like you guys already saw, two of our opponents were using this team, but again, this team's top tier. Why wouldn't you be using it? But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.